Uh, yeah, you know, I want to thank Coach Kerrigan for allowing me to come and represent uh, UT Permian Basin today. Uh, we were actually having a uh, staff dunk contest, and uh, Coach Kerrigan went up for a 360 windmill, <laughs> came down wrong, but uh, there's no video. I apologize for that, so uh, no one's going to be able to see it, but he's back at home uh, recovering right now. Uh, an ACL. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hey, our uh, Godspeed. Our thoughts are with Coach, but we're glad he was able to to send you because you're kind of the hometown hero of uh, of Permian. You you started Odessa Permian, yes, which of course is uh, the the hometown of the team in in uh, Friday Night Lights. Of course, for those that may not know, although I think most people here do. But what is that like having starred there in high school and now coaching collegiately? Uh, yeah, so I didn't go back home from uh, the time I left college until we moved back in 2015. So. Uh, moving back out there was great. Uh, running into some old people I know is uh, is always good, and uh, we're hoping to make UT Permian Basin that hometown team uh, as we get moving forward. So it's uh, it's always good to be back home, though. Well, I would like to I would like you to introduce your seniors up here today, the seniors that were freshmen in the first ever UTPB football class, which is cool. Yes, ma'am. So we have uh, Chris Hode, linebacker from uh, Leander uh, Rouse High School. Keegan Gray from uh, Andrews High School, uh, linebacker, and Cameron Mathis, quarterback from Bushland High School. How special are they knowing they essentially helped lay the foundation for this program? Yeah, these, uh, these guys right here represent everything that we're about. Uh, I, I guarantee you want me to profess on campus, a, uh, someone that might work in the cafeteria, anybody that would have one bad thing to say about them. Uh, you know, they're, they're just awesome to have around, and it's awesome to see everything they've been through. And uh, for this to be their senior year and, and go out on a statement. How about for you guys? I'll, I'll give you guys each a chance to talk about how cool that was. I know I kind of helped uh, start the softball program at WT, and there's kind of a sense of pride that, that goes into that. What was that like starting that football program and, and watching it evolve to this point? Uh, yeah, there's a definitely sense of pride. That was a little loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Mike works. But... No, it was a very unique experience and everything from that first year that we went through and not playing games and just getting accommodated with college and everything like that. So it was very unique. I mean, I, I always tell a story. Our first year we had a grass field and uh, we had stickers in it. And when we did up downs, we were doing up downs in the stickers. So that was very unique and uh, experience for sure. How about for you guys? I'll try not to yell like Chris did. <laughs> No, it, it's been a cool experience. It's been uh, – see, me and Keegan weren't there the first season that Chris was that they just practiced, but we, we joined in the fall 16. But it, it's been really fun. It's been challenging, a lot more challenging than probably was expected. But looking back on it, all we've been through, everything that we've experienced has been worth it, and it's kind of made us into who we are now. But I want to change it for a thing, but it's cool looking back and seeing the freshmen come in now and kind of helping them and uh, – Help them not have to experience what we did, but and now going in our last year, just kind of using all that and into one last season. Well, and in, in using all of that, what are the expectations entering this year? Uh, I think the biggest expectation for us is, uh, you know, like Coach had, before me had said, is, is being in a game in the fourth quarter. Uh, I look back on last year, and, and honestly, I think there's seven plays. If they go a different way, that you know we're seven and four and, and not two and nine. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is doing what we can control, uh, going out every game and competing and, and playing hard. And I know that's a little cl cliche, uh, but for what these guys have been through, uh, I think you're going to – people of Odessa are going to be happy for the product they're going to see on the field this year. Well, Chris, I know obviously a, a team captain, team leader. Uh, what does it mean to be named preseason defensive player of the year? Uh, it's pretty cool, but – I don't put much into that stuff. I'm more worried about the results than all the accolades or anything like that. As I mentioned, dominant junior year, ranking third in all of Division Two with 133 tackles. How do you do it? It's not just me. It's a team effort. I mean, you can't you can't find a more team-oriented game out there. So I know I get praised for it, but it's not just me. It's the whole defense. So I, I don't take credit alone. Well, then let's brag on Keegan then, since he he plays alongside you as well. Fourth year of the program, and and again, you're just as critical a part of the Stevens. What is this year's mantra for that unit? What are you guys, what are you guys kind of resting on right now? 
I guess just you know the basics basics of defense. Sorry, I'm not real good at this talking to you <laughs> with the mic and stuff. That's why. Be I've a fantastic you lettuce, might I add. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You got that going uh, for you. Just kind of what Coach Mania was saying, focusing on the small things. Uh, like he said, there was a couple plays that last year if would have gone a different way. It would have been a different season for us. So uh, hopefully let's fix the small things, worry about what we can worry about, and uh, win some games. I'll let you brag on Chris. What makes Chris? You, you can talk about Chris, I'm sure, right? What allows him to be so dominant? Well, uh, I guess like he said, it's a – it's a really team-oriented sport. Uh, we have a really good front four uh, that opens gaps for both of us and allows us to both make really good plays. So it's a, it's a full team effort. Well, I know Cameron is from Bushland, not far from Amarillo. I had a couple friends yeah. from there. Uh, and, at, you know, you're, you guys have a very unique offensive attack. How would you best describe it, and, and how are you able to kind of orchestrate that? What is your role in all of that? I think as an offensive unit, we want to be explosive, and, and we're pretty balanced in what we do, and we don't really have something like we're going to do this. It's whatever the defense is going to give us, we're going to take it, and that's what Coach Kerrigan kind of puts on us quarterbacks is whatever you see, roll with, like just go with it, and, uh, and we're going to go, and whatever they're going to present to us, whatever look they're going to uh, give us, we're going we're gonna to do what we want to do kind of. But uh, we, we, we want to put up points, obviously, and just be explosive, and that's kind of what we – Set our uh, our identity as, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. All right, so I'll I'll give you the final say here and and kind of like bragging about these guys and and uh, maybe even how Texas high school football has helped really shape all of you to this point. Yeah, like I said, these uh these guys right here they represent us. Uh, you know, I, I believe all of them will graduate in December, uh, which will also be our largest graduating class we've had. Uh, but being able to find all these guys, and, and like everybody in here knows, Division Two, you got to make sacrifices in the summer and work, and some guys have to work during the year. And uh, just watching these guys prepare every day and, and come to work, it's, uh, it's just great. Well, tell Coach we're thinking of him. In the meantime, thank you for joining us here today. Let's give it up for UTPB. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>